Elon Musk's groundbreaking brain tech venture, Neuralink, just received the green signal from the USEF DEA to embark on its maiden human clinical study. They're boldly promising the restoration of full body functionality. But, with the imminent human trials, the burning question looms, are we ready to directly plug technology into our brains? Is it a daring leap or a cause for concern? Elon Musk just confirmed that his brain implant company, Neuralink, will start human trials very soon with the release of ChatGPT and countless warnings about its safety. Is it really a good time to connect the technology directly to our brains? So, the most important question is, how worried should we be? Before we delve deeper, grasp this. Neuralink's core mission is to elevate human potential and combat neurological disorders by crafting an ultra-responsive brain-computer interface. Picture this, controlling gadgets with just your thoughts. Elon Musk's vision? A Neuralink product enabling a paralyzed individual to navigate a smartphone via mind control faster than someone using their thumbs. He envisions a future where this tech can cure brain diseases and spinal injuries. Can this be the dawn of a new era, or are we on the edge of a technological precipice? The core technology developed by Neuralink involves implanting tiny flexible electrode arrays, called neural threads, into the brain. These electrodes, thinner than human hair, are designed to be minimally invasive and minimize damage to surrounding brain tissue. They can both record neural activity and stimulate specific areas of the brain, allowing for data collection as well as potential therapeutic interventions. Elon Musk's vision for Neuralink extends far beyond its medical applications. He raises concerns about the potential risks posed by artificial intelligence AI, and believes that bridging the gap between the human brain and AI could offer a solution. Musk asserts that establishing a direct interface between the human brain and a super-intelligent computer might be a crucial step in controlling and managing the risks associated with AI. This perspective sparks a profound discussion on the future of human-AI integration and its implications. The concept is intriguing. By connecting our brains directly to a super-intelligent computer, Musk envisions a future where humans can not only enhance their cognitive abilities but also potentially collaborate with AI on equal footing. This idea aims to empower individuals to keep up with the exponential advancements in AI technology, rather than being surpassed or overshadowed by it. However, this ambitious vision is currently in its nascent stages. Neuralink's progress has been primarily demonstrated through animal testing. In a milestone moment in 2021, Neuralink showcased a monkey playing a basic video game after receiving a brain implant. This demonstration highlighted the technology's potential by illustrating the monkey's ability to interact with external devices directly through its brain chip. The video game demonstration was a glimpse into the future of Neuralink, showcasing the potential for direct and seamless communication between the brain and external devices. It hinted at the possibilities of unlocking new levels of human-computer interaction, paving the way for future developments in merging human cognition with advanced technology. While the vision is ambitious and tantalizing, the practical realization of such a concept on a larger scale remains a monumental task. It requires rigorous testing, ethical considerations, and advancements in both neuroscience and technological integration. Nonetheless, it signals a potential paradigm shift in our relationship with technology, challenging us to reconsider the boundaries between human cognition and artificial intelligence. During a presentation in May, Neuralink showcased further improvements in the speed and capabilities of their brain chip. But now, the company has received regulatory approval to conduct the first clinical trial of its experimental device in humans. However, concerns have been raised due to the extravagant promotion of the technology by the billionaire executive, his track record in leading other companies, and animal welfare issues associated with previous Neuralink experiments. Laura Cabrera, a neuroethicist at Penn State's Rock Ethics Institute, said she was surprised at the decision made by the U.S. Food and Drug Administration to greenlight the clinical trials. She also said, is he going to see a brain implant device as something that requires not just extra regulation but also ethical consideration? Or will he just treat this like another gadget? Brain interface devices, such as Neuralink, are part of a field that has been actively explored for several decades. Researchers from various institutions across the globe have been dedicated to investigating the potential of implants and devices in treating diverse conditions like paralysis and depression. In fact, there are already thousands of individuals benefiting from neural prosthetics, such as cochlear implants, which restore hearing abilities. 
While it is important to acknowledge the ongoing efforts in this field, the ambitious claims made by Elon Musk and Neuralink about the capabilities of their device have raised skepticism among experts. The complexity of the human brain, with its intricate network of neurons and the intricate mechanisms that govern cognitive processes, poses significant challenges for any brain interface technology. Experts in the field emphasize the need for rigorous research, thorough testing, and ethical considerations to ensure the safety and efficacy of such devices. Furthermore, the ethical aspect of conducting experiments on animals for Neuralink's development has also garnered attention. Animal welfare advocates have expressed their concerns about the well-being of the animals involved and the potential implications of such experiments on their cognitive functions and overall welfare. Musk pronounced an ambitious vision for Neuralink when he said that the company's ultimate objective is the creation of a general population device that establishes a direct neural connection between individuals and supercomputers. This concept envisions a future where individuals can seamlessly interact with advanced AI systems through direct brain interfaces, where humans can enhance their cognitive capabilities and keep pace with artificial intelligence. In line with this vision, Musk has further speculated on the potential capabilities of such. He has suggested that it could eventually enable the extraction and storage of thoughts, essentially serving as a backup drive for one's non-physical being or digital soul. Elon Musk's vision for Neuralink goes beyond mere enhancements. It hints at preserving an individual's consciousness digitally, sparking fascination and skepticism in scientific circles. Directly linking the human mind to computers promises incredible possibilities, yet experts emphasize daunting challenges. This pursuit demands monumental advancements across neuroscience, computer science, materials engineering, and artificial intelligence. Crafting a device seamlessly integrating with the brain to extract and store thoughts while connecting flawlessly with supercomputers is an immense task. Each field must push boundaries, understanding brain intricacies, processing vast data, creating compatible interfaces, and managing intricate interactions. But these technical hurdles only scrape the surface. Ensuring security, privacy, and the technical feasibility of this technology are critical concerns demanding meticulous attention. Establishing a seamless connection without risking vulnerabilities is a formidable task. While the FDA approval for Neuralink's human clinical trial is an important milestone, several aspects surrounding the study's scope, focus, and design remain unclear. The specifics of the FDA application and approval process are not publicly available as these processes are typically confidential. As a private company, Neuralink is not obligated to disclose the details of its regulatory interactions to investors or the general public. According to information provided on Neuralink's website, the company is actively seeking participants with conditions such as paralysis, blindness, deafness, or speech impairments. However, the exact criteria and protocols for participant selection and the specific goals of the clinical trial are yet to be disclosed. Another aspect that remains uncertain is the timeline for conducting the trial. Neuralink would need to establish an Institutional Review Board IRB, to evaluate and approve the research protocols and monitor the trial's progress. The IRB plays a crucial role in ensuring the ethical conduct of clinical studies and safeguarding the rights and well-being of the participants. While the FDA just approved Neuralink, it initially faced a setback in 2022 when its previous bid for clinical trials was rejected by the FDA. A report from Reuters stated that the FDA cited dozens of deficiencies that Neuralink needed to address before proceeding with human testing. The concerns raised by the FDA included safety issues related to the implant's lithium battery and the potential risk of overheating. There were also questions about the possibility of the device's small wires migrating to other areas of the brain. Additionally, concerns were expressed regarding the removal of the device without causing damage to brain tissue. The specific details of how these concerns were resolved have not been made public. The FDA declined to provide specific comments on Neuralink's application process. However, the agency did state that it follows a scientifically rigorous process to evaluate the safety and effectiveness of medical devices. The FDA also emphasized its commitment to ensuring the responsible and humane care of animals involved in testing, indicating that animal welfare is a significant consideration in the approval process. The FDA approval of Neuralink's clinical trials takes place against the backdrop of ongoing scrutiny regarding the company's testing practices and allegations of animal cruelty. According to a Reuters report, Neuralink has reportedly euthanized over 1,500 animals since commencing experiments in 2018. 
While it is not uncommon for animal test subjects to experience mortality in laboratory settings, employees interviewed by Reuters claim that the death rate has been higher than necessary due to Elon Musk's demanding development timeline. They allege that this timeline has resulted in increased mistakes and botched operations. Former employees interviewed by Reuters have described certain experiments as hack jobs. One example cited was a botched experiment where incorrectly sized devices were implanted in 25 out of 60 pigs used for testing. In another case, Neuralink's device was inadvertently implanted into the wrong vertebra in two separate pigs during separate surgeries, ultimately leading to euthanasia due to pain and suffering. At the time of the Reuters report, Neuralink did not respond to their request for comment, and the FDA declined to comment, citing laws that protect commercial information from public disclosure. The allegations of animal cruelty and the reported incidents of mistakes and botched operations are serious concerns that raise ethical questions. The allegations have led to ongoing investigations of Neuralink from multiple government agencies and members of Congress, including an inquiry from the Department of Agriculture over allegations of animal abuse and the Department of Transportation over mishandling of biohazardous materials across state lines. It remains to be seen what these agencies will find, but until then, Neuralink will continue with human trials. What do you think about this? Let us know down in the comments section. Thanks for watching everyone. If you liked this video, don't forget to hit the like button below and subscribe. See you in the next video.